guys, welcome back to another episode of Freeze Take. We're going to step away from the NBA playoffs for a second and talk a little football. Just a couple days away from the 2015 NFL Draft, I'm sure you've heard all the hoopla in the media about all the top draft prospects like Jameis Winston and Marcus Mariota, but I'm going to hone in on what I think are the top three underrated draft prospects of the 2015 NFL Draft. My number three guy to watch out for in this year's draft is Trey Flowers, defensive end out of Arkansas, 6'2", 266, ran a 4.93 in the 40-yard dash. This guy's an incredible workhorse. Now, he's not a sack machine. He's not the most athletic guy. He's not a guy that's going to be quick around the corners. I wouldn't characterize him as a great edge rusher. But what I will say about him is that he has incredible awareness on the field, which allows him to excel at playing against the run. What I like about this guy is that he has such a high motor. Every time he lines up for a snap, he gives you every bit of that toughness and that aggressiveness on a consistent basis. And that's not something you can teach. Coaches love that because you can't instill that in the player. They have to already have it. Pair that with the fact that he uses great techniques with his hands and he is getting better as a pass rusher. This is a guy that can develop into a very solid defensive end in this league. So not very athletic, but he is very skilled at containing the run. He's projected to go between a third and fifth round, but I like to see a team pick him up closer to the third round. My number two guy to watch is Justin Hardy, wide receiver out of East Carolina. 5'11", 192, not the fastest guy, ran a 4'5", 6 in the 40-yard dash. But he could be the best steal of this draft. He's a very savvy route runner. He's very quick at changing directions, can really carve up defenses, and he has great burst and acceleration. And though he's not six foot, he excels in jump ball situations. This guy can really get up there and catch the ball at his highest point. He knows how to get open. In fact, it seems like he's always open because he does such a great job of creating separation. He might have learned that from his childhood hero, Jerry Rice. In fact, he emulated Rice growing up catching bricks that helped him a lot because he has great hands and after the catch he knows how to make guys miss and that's a big plus in this league he hasn't gotten talked about much leading up to the draft but come on guys this is college football's all-time leading receiver 387 receptions for 4,500 yards and 35 touchdowns doesn't get much better than that Hardy's projected to go between the second and fourth round, but I think he's still early in the second round. My number one underrated draft prospect in this year's NFL draft is Eric Rowe, defensive back out of Utah. He played safety in his first three years and then made that switch to cornerback in his senior year. Now, he says he prefers to play cornerback, but NFL coaches seem to like him much more at the safety position. That might have to do with the fact that he has the skills of a safety, but he excels at man-to-man -man coverage. And with the way that teams are now flexing their tight ends, it helps to have a hard-hitting safety that can cover the open field and that's exactly what this guy can do. In fact, he's very versatile. He can cover any area of the field and his speed and physicality allows him to bump guys at the line of scrimmage and still recover. He's a good physical back that likes to get in on tackles and every coach gets giddy about that trait in a DB. Good size, loose hips, and excellent tackler. More importantly, this guy can really handle himself in the open field, both against the run and the pass. He's expected to go late in the first round or early in the second round, but I think he's worthy of being a mid-first round pick, and any team that grabs him is getting a steal. So those are my top three underrated draft prospects to watch. Hope you guys are watching the NFL Draft, by the way. Grab a beer, have fun, go to a watch party. It'll be an exciting event as it is every year. And let me know if there's any players on your radar that no one else seems to be talking about. I'd love to hear about it. Make sure you like and you comment on this video. Subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll be back next week.